the middle school lyrical etude, make sure to do this frequently with a metronome because there are a lot of different rhythmic changes within this piece, going from quarter notes to 16th notes, and then 16th notes to triplets, then to eighth notes. And so particularly in measures eight, nine, and 10, it becomes really essential to be sure that you are subdividing and able to count that out loud before you even try to do it on the bassoon. The key signature here causes a little bit of a problem, um, particularly when you get to measure six, because that's actually the first time you get an A flat. So make sure that you watch out for that one. And then in bar nine, the very last note is an A flat, and it's preceded by a B natural. And that interval isn't one that we see um, as frequently in music. And so just be careful about that and make sure that you hear that larger augmented second interval. In bar 13, that high A flat, um, I've included a fingering that I like to use for this. I find it to be really stable and in tune, but anytime that you're working in a new fingering, make sure that you do it slowly, you go note by note, and don't try to do it too quickly. Um, I think that because this section is in eighth notes, it's very easy to rush, and so just keeping yourself nice and controlled. In this upper register, it doesn't require a lot of embouchure pressure. And one of the issues that I see a lot with students on this is using too much pressure top and bottom with the mouth, which then causes the reed to close and makes it harder to play. So if you're getting some resistance from the bassoon up here, try to work harder with your airstream and envision yourself blowing more aggressively through the vocal of the bassoon down into, um, the, into the bore. For the low C and bar 18, just be careful to make sure that you open your embouchure a lot. So bring your jaw more open, bring the corners of your mouth kind of in and forwards, and think a very low O vowel while you were playing in order to get that to speak. school technical etude, it is very essential to have a consistent, accurate triplet subdivision throughout. So I recommend practicing this with your metronome on the triplet subdivision so that you can really internalize that rhythm and feel very consistent with it throughout this piece. I also recommend putting a slight accent on the first note of each beat, particularly because each of the first notes is preceded by the same note in the beat before. So this helps create definition in the line di-up-da, 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 and helps you keep better track of where you are within each measure. There's an alternate slur fingering for the tenor E where in listed here where you leave the first finger off of the left hand. So this is useful in bar number four and again in bar number 10, um, bar 13 possibly, but this is a good fingering anytime you are slurring to or from E natural. The same right hand fingering works for E flat as well, so leaving off that first finger can be helpful for that. But just work to bring out the dynamics as much as you can and maintain a consistent, steady tempo, really large half hole on F sharps and G naturals and keep your voicing for those, the, the vowel that you're singing into the bassoon, very open and low, O. Oh.